So far, I honestly can't complain. Uh, really didn't know what to expect, obviously, coming to a new country. Um, but I can honestly say so far it's been five star, you know, Dubai training camp was amazing. Um, coming to Calcutta, I've been put in an amazing hotel. Uh, facilities have been good and, and so far staff has, has been super friendly, players have been friendly. I've been surprised everyone can speak English so well. Uh, didn't expect that. Um, yeah, and, and just warm and welcoming and, and, and not too much of a change as well from what I'm used to in Melbourne. Um, you know, like I said before, the, the whole city group, uh, I believe it keeps a certain standard. So um, yeah, it's, it's been surprisingly good. Yeah, I mean, it came out of the blue, to be honest. I really wasn't expecting it. Um, you know, I've been in Melbourne for the past four years and was sort of just in my in my head, imagining seeing my career out in Australia, whether that was in Melbourne or, or, or wherever. And um, I was talking to Melbourne about signing a new deal and also some other A-League clubs. And, and then just out of the blue, I got a phone call um, to say, hey, would you be interested in, uh, in going to Mumbai City? Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it sort of, it took, me, it took me back a little bit, but then when I really weighed it up, um, you know, knowing the coach, knowing the fact that it was uh, a Citigroup club, knowing the fact that Mumbai is a, pr a pretty cool city from what I'm told, um, with a chance of obviously success in a league that I think is growing, um, you know, once I managed to convince my wife, uh, it, was, it was pretty easy to get across the line. Yeah, I mean, I had a good relationship with Des. I think I mentioned before, you know, he's, he's not that much older than me, so he gets it. Uh, we know we're able to have a relationship that's, you know, not so much uh, coach and player. It's a little bit more like a friend, a friendly, I believe. You know, whether that changes now, he's the he's the he's the main man. We'll, we'll find out, but hopefully not. Uh, in in Melbourne, he had the chance to take a couple of games when uh, our head coach was sick, and you could sort of see that he had that ability to be the the main the main guy, even though he's the assistant at that point. Um, and also, I think he, he, he's, he's a calm guy, you know, um, so, you know, it, he doesn't get overwhelmed with things that are going on around him. And so for me, knowing him and his character, it, it, was, um, it was an easy decision because I think often you can come to foreign countries and you're always a little bit scared of what the coach is going to be like. Is he going to be a bad person? Is he going to be a poor coach? Whereas for me, I knew, I knew what he was about. Um, and I think at the very least, you know, if I have any issues, I can go to Des and say, hey, mate, like, can we can I do this? Can something happen? And he, and he will look at it fondly and, and help me out. So, uh, yeah, from my perspective, uh, it made a big difference. Yeah, I mean, I managed to speak to a few people, uh, particularly Dave Williams, who I, who I played with in Australia a long time ago. Um, I know that he's been out here for a, a pretty large period of time. So his opinion was important to me because he had been here before the bubble. Uh, and so I wanted to hear what it was like when you know you were able to travel and when you were able to play in front of fans and what the various cities were like. Um, and he had really positive things to say. He particularly about Mumbai. Um, you know, he said it's a great city to live in, um, and and told me a lot about the football. But again, when it comes to things like people's opinions, I want to make my own. Um, you know, I always take it with a pinch of salt and 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 formulate my own opinions because I believe I live my life differently to a lot of other people. Um, I really want to immerse myself in the culture of India. I want to get out and about. I want to see the sights. I want to eat the food. Uh, I want to experience the football. Um, I don't just want to sort of sit in my hotel for, for seven, eight months. So um, yeah, uh, their opinion was important to me, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to make my own. And, and from what I've seen so far, I think I'm going to really enjoy it. Yeah, it's not, it's not a role I've spoken to Des about. I think it probably something that's probably expected of me, knowing the person that I am and, and knowing the person that he knows I, that I am. Um, like I said, there's not much I haven't seen in football now. You know, there's not much that surprises me. And so with that comes a level head uh, and hopefully a level of calmness that it doesn't, you know, I don't go from up and down and, and highs and lows. So I hope that I can bring that across to the team. I hope that um, from, especially from the back, I can lead uh, the team going forward and, and make everyone around me feel feel settled and and even off the pitch you know sometimes um, the pressure of a finals game or a big game can build it whereas you know if you act a certain way around people it, it brings it brings everyone brings everyone a level of calm so um, yeah it's a young squad that we've definitely got here in Mumbai um, I've noticed that again when we played uh, the, the young as the old the other day and I realized I was about 15 years older than uh, some of the guys I was playing against but you know uh, football is a is like a, is an international language, you know. So whether I'm 34 or 24, you know, we're playing the same game, we're playing in the same team. So for me, age kind of just goes out the window, and everyone brings their strengths together. And again, I, I think that's something um, I hope I hope I'll be able to bring bring to the team and, and just bring sort of everyone together.
Look, I think in the in the style of the city group now, I believe centre back. Um, I think the games change from when I was playing in midfield. You know, when I was playing in midfield, it used to be a little bit more free, and you know, you really just go and win your tackles, smash people about, and. Uh, and you're sort of getting in the box, getting out the box. Uh, and so that suited me then. But I think the, the city group style where you want to keep possession, um, you want to press up high. Um, I believe that I'm suited at the back. I think it starts a lot of our play. You know, we like to build up from the goalkeeper all the way through the defence into the midfield. And again, I think me facing forward allows, allows me to bring my strengths and also allows other people to um, produce their strengths just by me being able to communicate with them and, and from the back I can see everything you know I can see I can see everything so nobody can hide from me in this in this in this situation and um, I'm not scared to I'm not scared to say something if it's if it's not working so personally I'll, um, I'd like to play at the back but you know I, ca I can play midfield if, if necessary well you know people say it's going to be a long season but in comparison to what I'm used to it's not long you know it's 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 a normal season you know so um, I'm not I'm not worried about that Overall, I'm excited, you know, I want to get my family across. For me, that's going to be important because I want to share this experience with them, especially for my daughter. I want to give, I want her to see different cultures and, and see what it's like. So, you know, from a footballing point of view, um, I'm excited to see where this team can go. I think it's been building. It's been building from last season, um, especially the way that they finished off the Champions League campaign. I feel like that, that momentum has continued. Um, and I think there's an overall buzz around our squad to sort of say, hey, where, where can we go this, this season? So from a footballing point of view, uh, I'm excited. And, and also from a lifestyle point of view, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to getting to Mumbai. I haven't even seen the place yet. And I've been signed for you guys for like nearly a month. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting there and, and seeing what that's going to be like. And, and yeah, just to experience sort of the whole of India. Yeah, well, firstly, we can't wait to get back. Um, you know, these guys have done two years of football without fans, without Mumbai fans especially. Um, so I, again, we've talked about that as a group already, you know, to, to want to play in front of the fans and want to make them proud and excited and get them off their seat. Uh, and from my perspective and the message I guess from our team is that we are going to hopefully play a brand of football that is going to get them off their seat, get them excited. We've got a real blend of young and old, uh, some experience and um, yeah, I think everyone's just uh, looking forward to the season to get going and um, we just hope to see them all there at the stadium cheering us on and um, yeah, make them as excited as possible.